in this keyboard. Rice lovely. This is called as a report. Such as I for interfaces, C for conversions, and E for extensions. So any any technical consultant will be working with this. So whenever you say you are Technical consult will ask you, uh, are you familiar with RICE W? So, which is reports, interfaces, conversions, and extensions. So, reports, and since as I was talking yesterday, that we'll be having some few screens as well as a few reports. So, every software will have the links, screens, and reports. And uh, they need uh, reports when the water generated. Our application already gives you uh, some kind of reports, the standard reports which are called as. Okay, so every module will have some reports and screens. Apart from that, as I, as I was saying yesterday, in case they want to develop some new reports or uh, change some reports, something that we will be working with reports. Interfaces are nothing but called as data migration. So any data migration you do, that is called as interface. Even conversion is also called as data migration. But what is the difference between an interface and conversion is this is done only one time in an implementation process. So for the first time when we are doing a software, new software for him, I told the real data we have to migrate it and then only you can start testing it, right? So we will do that for the first time, conversion. And data migration when you do periodically Okay, this is called as interface. The same data migration if you are doing periodically every month or three months once or every year like that, then it is called as interfaces. Extensions. Any customization okay, or new development can be called as extension. It means you are extending the logic <clears throat> or you are extending the design, already there is something and you are extending something or you are adding some new piece of code which is already existing for an existing one that can, can be called as an extension. So commonly used are, are all these. Apart from this we have something called as workflow. So when I come to workflow I will tell you what is workflow. For now I will tell you what is workflow is. It looks something like data flow diagrams if you are aware of. It means if it is raining. I will not go to movie. If not, I will go. Something kind of decision making when we are doing it based on some condition. In the same way, in a software, how the data should flow, what ha what should happen, when it should happen, all these decision makings will be done with. Workflow. You have everything diagram representation. If it is yes, do this. If it is no, do something else like this. The flow, everything will be controlled with a workflow. Okay. Apart from this, we will also learn a new concept called as XML Publisher Report. This is a new one. What we will be learning. Okay, this is also similar to Oracle reports, but this is a new report. It is called as XML reports these days. Okay, this we will be learning in that course. I mean, I'm I'm talking about the tools what we will be learning. <coughs> okay, apart from this, I'll anyway I'll send you the course content and all. We will also learn um, modules like which is called as. P2, P and O2, C, from P2P and order to cash. Okay, right now you may not understand what is P2P and order to cash. As I told you that you will have different business areas and uh, you will also uh, have uh, something called as various departments. Yesterday we were talking about, right, he'll be selling it. He'll purchase something, he'll store something, he'll sell it, he'll receive the amount, then he'll pay to the supplier and all. For each and every business area, you'll have some modules. 
which is purchasing he'll buy it he'll stop it stop it in the sense so this call is inventory okay then he will sell it which is called as order management okay then he will receive the amount okay which is again called as accounts receivable okay then he will record everything which is called as GL and then he will pay to the supplier this is a business flow anywhere it will it will happen the same thing you will purchase something you will put it in your stock room later you will sell it for a profit you will receive the profit amount this model is called as general ledger how much you have sold and how much you have purchased whether it is in profit or whether you are in loss it will tell you and you will also pay to the supplier I just kept an arrow there. so this supplier paying is called as accounts payable where all payments are done okay so based on the work what you are doing it is treated as a module what module it is so let us repeat it in O2C okay here from showing here you get PO AP G is order to cash OM AR we will go in depth of this just uh, just uh, I will just see this name that's all when we get into this we will see ok so now this flow and for every business I said this flow is important right so we have already covered PO, APGL and this flow ok which is purchasing this called is nothing but the PO ok APGL and OM, AR and GM Apart from that, we are also covering inventory. So all this you will have technical flow. So this I'll tell you how to uh, basic navigations and the tables. So this is what we will be learning as a technical concept, and which is important for us. And now coming to the session for today, like what yesterday we have done is we have done a documentation pattern, a methodology, application implementation methodology, which is MD15, D70 I was talking about. So we have already dated, uh, talked about, spoke about types of products and types of rules. And uh, basically when you talk about an Oracle application, it will give you a software, complete software. It means with the source code okay. the source code is what is the source code when de while developing software he has just written some code so he will give the code also for us in general no one will give the code because if the code is given we will start customizing we will start modifying it and we will not go to him again for any requirement but Oracle gives you the software with the developed code and in this developed code he will give in an organized way organized way in this he'll have, have a lot of files right when he developed code he developed reports he developed forms okay he developed some sql scripts okay he has written some ps sql code he has written some unix also so he will create like this folder and he will give all the reports he will put it here all the forms he will put in one folder all the SQL files he will put in one folder, even PLC files also he will put in one folder. All Unix code what he has written he will put in one folder. He will put all this other folders. He can't just dump the code for us. Right? In one folder and say hey you search. How will we how will we come to know where the file is? Because why he will be giving source code is our application supports customization. That means it will just help us. In case if you want to modify something, you can just modify it. Okay, so he'll put all in for one folder and he'll give. But for every module, we'll have like this, right? For PO, we have reports and also he'll give. For AP, also he'll do. For AR, also he'll do. For auto management, like this, how many modules you have? 
for every module it will get separate folders and it give all the source files like that and he will arrange for us and this is nothing but called as technical architecture okay technical architecture is nothing but the set how the files are organized how the source code is organized it will give to you so tomorrow someone says hey in vivo you have to modify a report you have to just go to the report bring the report file you will have something purchase dot rdf that's a file so you'll bring that file you'll try to modify that and then test it and do the changes in the same way someone will say that hey you need to modify screen in purchasing <coughs> purchase <coughs> dot fmd we will also uh, learn here interaction to Arco Forms. Okay. So like this. Someone will say that in this query you have to modify something. Then we will get purchase dot equal and I'll modify. Like this, what we will do is we will try to customize the code which is already existing. Okay, so that is why it is called as uh, the product is supported as customized product, and the source code is given in an organized way, and this organized code is called as technical architecture. Why do we refer as technical architectures? All the technical part is organized and kept it where it exactly the files are located he has already given it he has aggregated and organized in such a way where in any place you go you have the same architecture same folders everything all this he will put in one folder called this apps it means you know for AP also you have the same folder here you will have reports you will have forms you will have SQL all these are given by Oracle apart from this for all modules will be given it apart from this when you are doing customization you are expected to create one folder as custom and whatever the customizations you are doing you need to put the same thing suppose you have customized a report it means you have modified a report okay you have to put in the report folder you have modified a form the original form you have taken and you have changed it then you have to keep it here let's say you have taken a purchase.rdf you have added two columns here and you remove one column the original file you should not disturb it take a copy do the changes and put it in reports Okay, this folder you have to create it. It means this will be done by a DBA. We have to create it since DBA will be created. So each and every application will have a short name like this, as I said, PO, AP, and all. So what is an application? The business area, like purchasing, as I'm talking about referring sales, okay, human resource management system, customer relationship management, all these are called as applications. Software applications, nothing business area related application. And every application will have its own short name. And a shortcut they have given like PO, AP, okay, AR as a website. Here I just for an example I just told purchase, but in fact filing will always start with PO underscore. PO underscore uh, let's say uh, PUR purchasing dot and okay if it is ap file it will start with ap underscore if it is order management it will start with om underscore when you are developing a new thing something or customizing it you will start with xx underscore all the customized products will have xx underscore or the client name xx pcs xx reliance XX data and then 
whether it can be purchasing five or whether it can be anything. Right here. So you have taken PO purchasing before PO you will put the XX order. So that that represents oh this is a customized one. When you don't have the module name before the file and you have something else like this XX or something, it means that's a customized one. You can identify that that's a customized one. If you have a module name, you can identify that that is a regular C red one which is given by Oracle, the standard one. It's not only the file names, it will also use a table names like that. For every module you'll have separate tables. Okay. Because you'll have a screen and you'll have a report as for every module. When you enter the data in the screen, obviously it will go and store in a table, right? So which table it will be stored in? PO tables will be starting with PO. For example, for a sample, I'm just giving the tables. Okay, we will discuss more tomorrow. Okay, I'll tell you what is in the PO header. The same way PO line. For OM, it will start with OM order headers. OM. OM is also called as OE. OE. Order headers. The other name for given for in the order and okay. So I just have a technical aspect where your source code stored and um, module related the tables, files, everything will have module short name which will start. So those are standards which are given by Oracle. So it says that uh, do follow the same process. And uh, if you're doing some customization or something, then follow something, put some XX or put some client name, project name, so that you'll identify what is the original file and what is the changed file. Uh, Nipali, we'll end up the session for today now.